Matam went into exile in 1975 and while in the battlefield contracted some illness which led to his legs amputated upon return to Namibia. He was diagnosed with gangrene, a serious and potentially life-threatening condition that arises when a considerable mass of body tissue dies. Upon returning to Namibia, Madamu joined the Namibian Defence Force but had to resign when both his legs were amputated above the knee. With his house. With his house, man. I think I, think I will be living better. Yeah. I appreciate it. In a speech read on his behalf, Veterans Affairs Minister Dr. Nikki Iambo noted that the construction was approved because of his contribution to the cause of the liberation struggle of Namibia. Dr. Iambo says government continues to integrate veterans into the socio-economic mainstream of the country, adding that this was one of the programs government intended to fulfill. That's how you can never think of selling that house before 15 years. Only after 15 years, then you can think of something else. Before that, we say no. However, the minister emphasized that beneficiaries were expected to pay for the services given to them, such as water, electricity, and sewage, if any.